Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Ladies and gentlemen, I know that you can't see me. You can probably see the window back there from my bunker, but usually around 6, 6.30 in the a.m. Now that it's kind of dark outside, you see? Cause it's pretty dark outside for this early in the morning. Uh, I normally go into the chicken coop and I turn on their heat lamp. I was kind of questioning whether I wanted to turn it on today or not because it's kind of warm outside. I mean, I've got my t-shirt on. It's like, I don't know, like 28, 30 degrees outside. So it's not really that cold. Uh, but I just wanted to show you in here really quick uh, at what I do to turn it on. I actually have a little clicker that's uh, remote control and I can turn it on from inside the house or from inside the bunker anytime I want and turn it off. So this here is the inside of the coop and you can see that it's nice and dark in here. And let me go ahead and click it. And there you go. Now the light is on. And let's see, you see it's not so cold to where the water froze last night. So I was guessing, I also have right here, you see that right there? That is a thermometer, a remote thermometer. And I can from inside the house know what the temperature is in here. So I'm able to monitor it when I'm inside the house. That way, if it gets too cold, I can turn it on. And look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Check this out. Oh, look at this. One of the ladies is coming in. She must think that I've got food for her or something. But look at that. <laughs> there is my rent. That is the rent, only one. I think that there's only one chicken laying eggs because I usually only get one egg maybe every other day or every three days or so. So I think there's only one so far that's laying an egg. Oh, wait a minute. There's the boss right there. So I better be careful because he's coming towards me. When he starts to fluff up his feathers, that's when you got to be careful. But for those of you that haven't seen the inside of the coop, you can see that I moved the water to over here. Okay. It was here before, but they kept getting on top of the water bucket to get in here to get into this bucket and they were pooping all over it and stuff like that. So I didn't want poop to be getting inside the water, all right? So I went ahead and moved it here and I went ahead and put this bucket, this green metal bucket right here in the way in hopes that they won't be standing on top of it because it's not really in a convenient location for them to be standing on top of it. So this is what it is. Normally I'll come in here in the morning after I turn the light on and I will go ahead and take this bucket off right here, open this lid really easy, and I'll put a gallon of water or half a gallon of water in there, enough to keep these full for 24 hours, but not all the way to the top, enough where if one of the chickens leans on this or something like that, you see that? When it goes like this, if there's too much water in it, the pressure will actually push that water out and make a mess. So if one of the chickens comes under it, and goes like that and there's a lot of water in here it'll spill all over the floor some of the things that i've learned here in the last week or two that i've been doing this and look at that they're all over there eating away so this little setup for i don't know what it is we have 11 chickens we have 11 hens and we have one rooster this little setup right here is pretty good for them i mean they seem to be pretty happy in here they're obviously not suffering there's plenty of room. I think that we could probably add another eight or nine chickens to our flock and they'll still be pretty happy. They seem to be using all of the buckets because the buckets don't have the straw in them that they had in the beginning because they just, they take the straw out of them. So they seem to be using all of the buckets that I have here. And so far I've been leaving their door open even at nighttime because like I said, it just hasn't gotten to be so cold. It's only in the night, it's probably in the mid to upper 20s. So what I'll do now, ladies and gentlemen, is I'll go in the house, I'll get a half a gallon of water here in probably about two or three hours and I'll bring it in and I'll pour it in there. And then around six o'clock, seven o'clock this evening, I'll go ahead and click off the light and it'll stay pretty warm in here. I was very surprised that throughout last night, it was inside the coop I think it was like in the mid to high 30s which is really good for them you know mid to high 30s is pretty comfortable for them and they've got all the straw in there that they can keep warm with and they'll also huddle around each other to keep warm if it gets too cold so so far the chickens and poppy are all pretty comfortable and they seem to be having a pretty good life and I'm getting an egg or two every now and then from them <laughs> So let me go ahead and go in the house here real quick. I'm going to go get them their water when I come back out. But more importantly, I got to go get me a coffee. As we're headed into the house here, I wanted to show you, I got the 
snow plow put on my truck so it is ready to go i did have to replace one headlamp right here this one right here and you won't be able to see it this is just a regular halogen headlamp that i had an extra of from last year because the one that i put on there that was an led headlamp which are awesome all right ladies and gentlemen the led lamps are awesome for nighttime it broke inside so i had an extra halogen headlamp so we put that on for now until i can order some more led headlamps but our plow is on and it's ready to rock and roll for this winter ladies and gentlemen and take a look at this some people have asked me in the past well i call these lights my runway lights <laughs> they're like my runway lights in the winter time we always put these lights up with these with these, these little makeshift poles that i put up uh, so that we can have a reference when we're parking and when we're walking uh, I'm not sure if you saw that this year that I went ahead and leveled off my front yard. I think I did a short video showing you that I leveled off my front yard and that I got rid of a whole bunch of trees over there. So my front yard is now leveled off, whereas in the non-winter months, we can have some activities out here in the front of the house where it's nice and level. And uh, this is what it's looking like today, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, take a look at this picture that I took the other night uh, when I put my camera in night mode. I didn't even know that you can do that with this camera, <laughs> put it in night mode and get pictures like that until little Miss Alaska Prepper says, hey dad, check out this picture off of her phone, right? And I'm like, oh my goodness, how did you get that picture? She's like, it's really easy. Let me see your phone. And she set it up and I was like, wow, that is really cool. <laughs> let me go inside. I'm going to get me a coffee and then let me show you what I give them for a treat probably about every other day or so. Now this here, ladies and gentlemen, is my dirty air fryer. And look at this, this is a bigger one than the one I had before. But you see all of this uh, grease that's left over? That gets scraped up into a plate and check this out. This here is all of the grease in the bottom of this plate, plus all of the stuff that we have left over from like a steak that we've made. And also that gelatinous uh, stuff that you see on there, that was from me cooking up some oxtail that I cooked up and it was delicious ladies and gentlemen so the order of events ladies and gentlemen when I come down here to give the ladies and poppy their treat is that I go ahead and put their treat inside of the chicken run first and then I go ahead and fill up their water that way they won't be in my way as I'm filling up their water so let's go in here and See what they got. I put the entire plate in there because they eventually destroy the plate and I think they like playing with it and stuff. So I just take the whole plate. I open up the door here. Let me see if I can do it with one hand. There we go. I open this enough to put the plate in there. And they enjoy that goodness all day long. And there you go. I don't think, let me see, can I put a light on with this? Look at that. That's cool. Yeah, look at that. They'll come out here throughout the day and look at that block. That block has been a big success. Do you see the block in there? Here, let me open the door. I don't know why I'm trying to show you through the fence when I can just open the door. But you see that block? That's probably why they're not pecking away at this. It's because they got that block there. It's a big block of treats. You know, it's like chicken scratch with molasses and a whole bunch of stuff in there. And they really enjoy this. So that's probably why they're not picking away at all this right here. Because they have that block right there. But as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, they're chickens and they do what chickens do. You know, they do the things that chickens do. And uh, you can tell that they're very well fed <laughs> because this is where they mainly roost. And you can see all of their waste over there, all of their fertilizer. Right. And uh, they're pretty happy. Let's go ahead and fill up the water and then we'll go ahead and call it good for this one. And as you can see, most of them are out in the run. Oh, about half of them are out in the run. A few of them are still in here. And uh, let me go ahead and lift this up right here. And you see what I mean? They like to get on. Chickens are such pigs. You know that? <laughs> Chickens are such pigs. They like to get up on that. So I didn't want them to dirty it. And you can see that's about how much water I keep down there. Uh, which is just enough to keep these full enough to keep them water for 24 hours. And it seems that about a half a gallon or so is exactly what it takes to keep them happy for a full day. 
And I'll tell you what, even when it's like below freezing, the uh, light, this light up here, pretty much keeps it nice and warm in here. And it keeps these guys from freezing. I do turn off the light. I turn off the heat at nighttime because I don't want them to have the light on all day long, right? You've heard that chickens will make more eggs when there's light on all the time, but I don't want to do that to them. I just want to give them the amount of light that nature would provide to them should they not live in Alaska, right? If they weren't living in Alaska, they'd probably get a good 12, 15, 16 hours of light per day. And that's what I want to give them. I'm giving them about 12, 13 hours per day. And so far it's been working out pretty good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I know not too much excitement on this video. Hey, check this guy out. He is huge. You see how big he is? Look at him compared to my Suburban, ladies and gentlemen. This guy is a monster. My wife and my daughter were on their way home and they're like, hey, dad, my daughter called me. She's like, hey, dad, check out the window. They were up a road and they saw this guy here strolling down. And I wasn't able to catch his mate but his mate was with him as well. There was a mama moose hanging out on the other side of the yard as well. But look at this guy. He is a beauty. I hope he makes it for a lot of seasons. In all honesty, ladies and gentlemen, I love making these short videos and sharing these little parts of my life with you. I hope that you have a great... Listen to that. <laughs> Poppy said it's time to go. I hope that you have a great weekend. God bless every one of you. God bless America. I'm Alaska Prepper, and I am out.